Dear students, welcome back to my channel School Ed. So today we are going to study a new chapter. This is chapter number thirteen in the NCERT books, and the name is Magnetic Effects of Electric Current. I believe before this you have already studied chapter number twelve, which is electricity, and in that you have already studied about electric current and the heating effects of electric current. Now in this chapter we are going to focus on the magnetic effects of electric current. Okay, before starting the chapter, I would like to introduce you the man due to which you have to study this chapter. So. This is the guy. His name is Hans Christian Oersted. He accidentally find found out the magnetic field. Now, how can someone find out something accidentally, right? Okay, be it my story or like uh, my hypothesis. What this guy was doing? He was just playing with an electric circuit, and somehow he had a compass in. a keychain or something like that in his daily use thing so the moment he switched on the circuit or basically inserted the key into the circuit the magnetic field of the circuit deflected the magnetic needle inside the compass and he was just amazed to see this that how the needle actually got deflected because you must know a magnetic compass always redirects itself to north and south pole so once he switched on the circuit the needle was deflected then he switched off the circuit the needle was deflected again that means something was actually affecting the magnetic field of that needle or actually producing a magnetic field around that needle since uh you have already studied in your lower classes uh, that uh, how magnets interact with each other i believe you already know about the north pole the south pole still i'll be covering a little bit on them also now coming on the next topic this is actually magnetic field and field lines now i already told you about oyster found out magnetic field and that to accidentally now what are field lines okay when we are talking about magnetic field we need to think about it or actually imagine how magnetic field would look like or how it is actually propagating like uh, you have studied sound in 9th class then you would know that sound propagates by vibrations similarly or stirred or someone has to imagine how they are actually getting propagated okay now we cannot see magnetic field lines but we can feel them and so what we are doing we are just imagining them how we are imagining them what we are doing we have considered two poles north pole and south pole and how the field is actually behaving is that we say magnetic field lines are emerging from north pole and they are actually going towards the south pole let me draw better okay this is our magnet this is its north pole now i will draw the south pole what is happening a field line is emerging from north pole and going towards the south pole and again another field line so how we have considered our field as it is made up of large number or actually infinite number of ma multiple magnetic field lines okay this was what is happening outside a magnet now what is happening inside a magnet this field line which was traveling from north pole to south pole in of a magnet outside the magnet goes from south pole to north pole inside the magnet to complete the loop got it okay look here you can see an experiment which can show that yes magnetic field is actually propagating or actually spreading out in the form of lines what is happening in this picture in your 
lapse, you would be working on an experiment of iron fillings, in which what will be done, and I a uh, container carrying iron fillings would be placed and then beneath that you will be placing a magnet then what will happen a bar magnet when you when you place a bar magnet then those iron fillings will actually redirect themselves or actually move themselves to form this kind of picture in which what is happening it is actually sh uh, showing the magnetic field lines they are actually bending themselves and forming a field line show. Great. So what is happening? Okay, Oyster found that thing of mag through magnetic compass, right? Mm, what will happen if we put a bar magnet near a magnetic compass? Oh, actually, sorry, why I am calling it magnetic compass? Uh, I should call it magnetic needle of the compass. Hmm. So then this magnetic needle will get deflected and how it gets deflected we know that the opposite poles attract each other. So the north pole of the magnetic needle will redirect itself towards the south pole of the magnet right and now you can see how the motion is happening over here. We are moving the compass from south pole towards the north pole and then the needle is actually changing its direction continuously you could see the direction of needle this is the way we can draw the magnetic field lines around the magnet here is the diagram which can show you the same that i have drawn for you okay now the most important part most important part from the academic point of view from the examination point of view is the properties of magnetic field lines <laughs> you would be asked multiple times in your exams that okay what are the properties of magnetic field lines so first of all magnetic field lines emerge from north pole outside the magnet i'm talking about outside the magnet they emerge from north pole and move towards the south pole right then inside the magnet they are moving from south towards the north okay this is one thing after that um, the concentration or the strength of the magnetic field lines or actually the magnetic field lines are very closer at the poles while they spread apart from each other on their way to the another pole and then the most important property is that no two field lines intersect each other do remember this point no two field lines ever ever intersect each other also the last thing which is expected that you must already know that these lines forms in the closed curves what do you mean by closed curve this is one complete closed curve it is starting from here then doing a complete closed curve this is a complete closed curve got it okay now magnetic field due to current carrying conductor now you would think we have already studied about magnetic field magnetic field lines then what are we going to study in magnetic field due to current carrying conductor this is pretty important if you are going to study science further this is exactly you need to know or in fact uh, the last few pages of this chapter consist of electric generator and electric motor they are be the principle of them is actually based upon this only okay let us see these diagrams how what is happening and what is what going on here in the first circuit that is 13.5 a you can see the polarity of the battery the positive terminal is towards the left and in the second circuit that is diagram B the positive terminal is towards the right now what is actually happening by changing the terminal from left to right you could see or you should notice one thing that in the first diagram the north pole was towards the right 
of the circuit it was moving a sort of away from the circuit and which was actually reversed what happened in the second diagram that is b figure b shows that north pole is actually pointing inside the circuit that means something is happening and what is something something is that the magnetic field is interacting what magnetic field of the conductor is interacting with the magnetic field of the needle so it is actually showing repulsion and attraction property of magnets great that means we do have something like poles of a magnet in electric circuits too and we can use them as magnets so we should focus on this that how we can use electric circuits as magnets now there is another sub topic this is magnetic field due to current through a straight conductor okay uh, we were actually going to focus on how to create magnets from electric circuits or what we call them is electromagnets now what we need to know before that is how the magnetic field of an electric conductor behaves in the first diagrams where we can see the needle was getting deflected or attracted in this the first diagram the needle is deflected away in the second diagram the needle is attracted inside the circuit it's going to waste right so we need to know what is happening how it is happening how exactly the electric field or the magnetic field is behaving okay and this is the perfect diagram which would be able to explain you how this is happening or uh, and the what's the behavior of magnetic field of an electric conductor here we can see that an electric setup circuit is set up and you can see blue dotted lines right these blue dotted lines or in fact you can check how these lines are created by putting a compass over there and uh, the needle the north pole of that needle would surely show you how the magnetic field lines are formed so this shows you that uh, or basically we can find out this experimentally that these field lines are circular uh, what we have studied you remember we have studied that magnetic field lines of a magnet are in a circular curve they are in a loop so the same thing is over here now what we need to know is the direction that particular direction would be a help us to create a pole as we know that magnetic field lines emerge from north and they go towards the south and until unless we know the direction of magnetic fields produced by an electric circuit we would be able to create the same through an electric circuit okay there is something called solenoid and before that we need to know or we need to learn right hand thumb rule okay i'll go back to the same diagram and we will consider about right hand thumb rule what is right hand thumb rule uh just take out your pen take it in your right hand and roll your fingers around the pen and then put up your thumb like you show the symbol of good luck or all the best like thumbs up and now what is happening see the thumb your thumb is actually pointing towards the direction of electric current or i shall better say if if your thumb is pointing towards the direction of electric current then your fingers just move your hand around the pen your fingers are actually showing the direction of magnetic field lines from the from where they are actually moving either it is anti clockwise or clockwise for example if you pick a pen with its tip pointing towards the sky so let us consider this the same is the direction of electric current that means your hand thumb will be pointing towards the sky and that is the direction of electric current when you will see the same from the top the magnetic field lines will actually be revolving around the pen counter clockwise or anti clockwise so by this way we actually 
know or find out the direction uh, you always don't need to carry a compass to find out the direction of field line right so this is the actual principle by which you can depict that how magnetic field lines are being generated or how they are behaving uh, then there is example 13.1 i believe you should go through this this is really pretty simple and if you have any questions you may ask them in comments great next is 13.2.3 in which what we are going to do we already had studied how magnetic field lines are generated or are they actually behaving around a current current conductor now what we did we just turned or bent that conductor straight conductor in a circular loop great if you can see this image uh, just focus this up for you what is happening the current is entering from that positive terminal which is at lower end and it is exiting from the negative terminal which is at upper end now if you apply the same right hand thumb rule which i have just taught you you would be able to find out the direction of magnetic field okay if you can just see this diagram the magnetic field lines can be seen like from my right to moving towards the left from the inside right and what is happening in the magnet is from the inside magnetic field lines move from south to north that means the right part of the circuit is behaving like the south pole of the magnet while the left part of the same circuit is behaving like the north pole we'll move on the next topic